Hi friends, how are we doing today? Welcome to Storybooks and Art. So today's book is The Wide Mouth Frog. And what's so cool about this book, it's a pop-up book. The illustrator, her name is Ella Jarzebeck, and she created a book that kind of is 3D. It comes to life right out at you. So we're gonna read this book and then we're gonna make our own little 3D wide mouth frog puppet right after. Okay, so let's get started. The Wide Mouth Frog. Let's go. Whoa, <laughs> oh, look at that. There was a wide mouth frog that lived in the reeds by a pool in the swamp. And one day the wide mouth frog was feeling bored. He left the pool and hopped off to talk to other animals about his favorite thing, food. Mm -mm. I wonder what animals he'll need. Oh, the first animal. Let's let, let's open that up again so you can kind of see what who's peeking out there. The first animal that the wide mouth frog met was a long striped tail and was grooming itself on a tree branch. Ribbit, what are you? And what do you like to eat? Croaked the wide mouth frog. I'm a ring-tailed lemur and I eat flowers and leaves, replied the ring-tailed lemur. Well, I'm a wide mouth frog, croaked the wide mouth frog, and I eat flies. Oh, so look at the lemur and look at those beautiful flowers. I wonder if that's the, those are the type of the flower, flowers that the lemur eats. Let's see. I'm going to close this up so we can see what the next animal is. Wow! <laughs> oh my goodness! Oh my goodness! Look at that! Hopping farther up the tree, the wide mouth frog met a bird with a huge yellow beak. Ribbit, what are you and what do you eat? asked the wide mouth frog. I'm a toucan and I eat fruit, said the toucan. Well, I'm a wide mouth frog, croaked the wide mouth frog, and I eat flies. Wow, look at that big beak on that bird. Hmm, let's see what's next. Oh, look at that. What kind of animal? <gasps> Hopping down from the tree, the wide mouth frog stumbled across an animal with sharp claws and thick body armor that was resting in its nest. Ribbit, what are you and what do you eat? Asked the wide mouth frog. I'm an armadillo and I eat bugs and ants, replied the armadillo. Well, I'm a wide mouth frog, replied the wide mouth frog. And I eat, what do, you, do you remember what the wide mouth frog eats? I eat flies. What's the next one? I'm excited, I don't remember. Hopping along, the wide mouth frog soon reached a large grassy plain. While resting on a rock, he saw an animal with two long horns grazing in the short grass. Ribbit, what are you and what do you eat? Croaked the wide mouth frog. I'm a gazelle and I eat grass, said the gazelle. Well, I'm a wide mouth frog, croaked the wide mouth frog, and I eat flies. What's next? What? Look at that. Oh my goodness. The wide mouth frog hopped on until he reached a river. Diving down into the cool water, he, start, he was startled to meet a large fish with a flat head and a very big mouth. Ribbit, what are you and what do you eat? Croaked the wide mouth frog. I'm a catfish. And I eat fish, replied the catfish. Well, I'm a wide mouth frog, croaked the wide mouth frog, and I eat flies. Well, that is a fancy, fancy catfish. What is this, friends? Oh my goodness. <gasps> Ribbit. Oh my goodness. Swimming to the side of the river, the wide mouth frog found himself face to face with a long green creature with enormous jaws and lots of teeth. Rabbit, what are you and what do you eat? Croaked the wide mouth frog. I'm a crocodile and I eat wide mouth frogs. Snap the crocodile hungrily. <gasps> Ooh, well, uh, I'm 
just a small mouth frog, Peep, the wide mouth frog, making his lips, his mouth as small as possible. Um, then he quickly hopped away from the river and returned to his lily pool, his nice little pool in the swamp. Oh, did he almost get eaten by a crocodile that liked to eat wide mouth frogs? Oh my goodness, that was crazy. That was a close one. Well, let's make our own wide mouth frog. So friends, find your bag with a big green piece of paper. And it also has two little green rectangles. And I bet you know what this is gonna be. The tongue of the wide mouth frog. It's the color red. So friends, we're gonna do some folding today. So you might need your grown up to help you and find your patience. So let's smell the birthday cake. Blow out the candles. And the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna fold our paper lengthwise to make it kind of skinny. I always call this a hot dog bun. So we're gonna fold it like a hot dog bun. I folded it, boop, just like that, okay? Now, we're gonna fold it in half again, just like this. So we're gonna fold one side to the other and give it a nice little crease. Maybe your grown up can fold and you can use your fingers to press down, who knows? So then we have this right here, easy peasy, right? Okay, well, grab your tape real quick because we're gonna do a couple of things before we, uh, before we do any more folding. We're gonna take some tape and we're gonna tape our sides closed. So see how this side is open? But this side is taped shut. We're gonna do that on both sides. So let's tape both sides closed. All right, that was easy enough. We got that, we got that. So now we're going to take our little V. We're gonna fold one side in just like that. And we're gonna fold the other side in just like that. All right, so we have our little V and we fold them both in. Now, instead of closing it, we're gonna go the opposite way. So it kind of looks like a W. We're gonna go the opposite way, like a W, okie doke. So let's do this. Let's get that tape out again. Let's tape our sides one more time on both sides. I'm gonna tape these sides together. And these sides together. All right, so they can't come apart. And then we're gonna do the other sides. We're gonna tape those sides together. And then we'll get out our glue stick. So we're almost done. This is an easy project. It's just some tape and some paper. So now, it's almost like a book, but on the other side, we have a little space where we can slip our fingers. Your hands are probably gonna fit in here better. Pop, pop, pop. There we go. So we gotta add our tongue to our wide mouth frog. So let's get our glue out. And glue on our tongue, right in the center, just like that. There we go. So there's our wide mouth frog like that, but he's missing his eyeballs, isn't he? So let's find those little green rectangles. And we're gonna fold one more time. <laughs> one more time, we're just gonna fold it in half. Make a little V just like that. And then we'll glue one flat side down onto our froggy at the very edge if we want. And we'll do the other side, same thing. We'll fold and glue. Just like that, see that? So we glued them on so they're flat. But let's take our black marker or our black crayon and add some eyeballs. And there you have it. There's your wide mouth frog, your little puppet. So you can hop around and ask people what they eat. Let's see, Miss Suzanne, what do you eat? Mm, I like to eat dark chocolate and I like to eat pizza. What? I 
like to eat flies. There you go. Have fun with this, friends. We'll see you later.